right. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about seats. In particular, the Saddleman Road Sofa seat that I run on my 2012 Ultra Limited. Right there. So, we're going to talk the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, let's get after it. All right, so here she is. This is the Saddleman Road Sofa in the carbon fiber finish. Um, obviously, it's not real carbon fiber, but the reason I chose the carbon fiber finish is at the time I was running heat shields down here that were carbon fiber. And my plan for the bike is to kind of accent it out in little details of carbon fiber. Um, what I do love about this seat is the comfortability of it. It is, it's, it's just for me in my particular riding style and I, my injury, I have an injury with my right knee and my right hip that prevents me from, from sitting for too long without, without any discomfort. And uh, this seat from day one was absolutely perfect. We'll get into a little bit of the quality stuff as well. All right, like we talked about in the intro, we're going to talk a little bit about the Saddleman Road Sofa I run on my Ultra Glide here. Ultra Limited. Whatever. So, here she is. I absolutely love this seat. Um, you see the quality of the stitching that's on it. It's just really good. Um, there are some scratches. You can see the scratches I got, like right there. And that's from my dumbass uh storing it this winter underneath a bunch of other shit in the garage and it kind of made a whoopsie but hopefully it comes out if not it's just battle scars but uh yeah in comparison to a stock harley seat which i have right over here this isn't the one that came with my bike um the one that i had on my bike is a harley davidson but it's a heated one this is just the regular stock Corian seat, um, you know, with the stitching, you can kind of see not as great. Again, this is probably a 10 year old seat too, but, um, big thing that I saw the differences between it was this, you can see the staples that are in there compared to what a settlement offers. You know, you get these nice rivets that go in there. Then you got the spelt underneath the seat along with these bumps and critical areas on the back fender. Um, so I have an injury I got when I was, uh, I was in Iraq. I didn't serve. I was over there as a DOD contractor, but, um, ended up getting hurt. I hurt my right leg. So been, I had like right knee issues and right hip issues. Um, so for a long time, it was just hard for me to sit down on anything, like in a car for more than 45 minutes to an hour. I'd have to get up and stretch and walk around a little bit. Um, I found out when I got this bike with the uh, with the heated seat on there, it was a little bit more firm. So I ended up switching that out with a friend of mine and got this guy, which is, again, just your typical touring model seat for that year. Uh, it did help a little bit, but it's not extended reach, you know, and I'm sitting on, I'm 6'4", 301 pounds, and uh, had to, it set me on the tank, like we all bitch and complain about. So um, ended up going to Birch Run, Harley Davidson at the time. They're no longer that. They're going out of business. They're switching over the process of the company. And I picked up a, an extended reach demo seat, which set me back perfectly. But still, I was riding for about an hour, and I had to get up and, and walk around for 10, 15 minutes and go. And it just wasn't, just wasn't feasible. So I um, did a lot of research into other seats, looked at the Mustangs, looked at the Para, looked at the ones um, um, from Cyril, the ASRs, the Adam Sandoval ones. And uh, just everyone had their things on them. The most consistent things I found for somebody like my size with similar um, issues, back issues, was the road sofa. Um, again, it's, it's a good looking seat. You know, it's, it's wide in the butt area. Not quite as wide as this guy in comparison. As I was saying, the Saddleman seat in comparison to the stock Harley seat isn't as wide, which does help out um, for me in the hip area, especially when I'm, you know, have my feet on the ground or on the floorboards. I'm not spread out as much. I can be a little bit more in. Um, the backing on here, the backrest, if you want to call it that, is up just a little bit higher as well. Um, it's, this is a gel 
seat compared just to the, the old foam. Another thing too to look at is, you know, this is an extended reach. So these are pretty much nose to nose and going over. This sets you back about an inch and a half to two inches. And also sets me down an inch. So down more on the bike. Um, another really good thing I like is up here in the uh, crotchal region, it narrows down and, and rides down a little bit easier than this. Again, those long distance rides or standing up just makes it a little bit easier. Let's take a look at the uh, comparisons here underneath. So you can see the the staples and just the ABS plastic here, how it's put together, you know, the single screw for that. Now over here to the saddleman, nice riveted, good felt padding. You got these bump stops here to help protect the rear fender, double screwed up. You know, it's just a, it's a far superior seat. And it's not a knock on Harley. I already know. You change your seat out anyways and you get a Harley. I, I get it, bro. But uh, the point being is, you know, for a Harley seat, I don't know how much these run, you know, factory, a few hundred bucks. And this seat was $580. I've, so well worth it. My big thing about this seat that I will have – it's not a complaint on Saddleman. This is just my own stupidity. Is um, I didn't want to have a backrest. So but I wanted to have the option for the backrest. So this seat with the backrest was like $900 or something like that. Eight, 900 bucks. I didn't want to spend the money on a backrest when I really don't need one right now. But I would like to have the option for it. I didn't realize when I bought this seat without the backrest option, it doesn't come with the, uh, the slit to put the backrest in. So Saddleman's run a eternal mechanism inside the seat to put your backrest in. Um, that's why they have two different options. I, going back in time, I would have spent the eight, nine hundred dollars and just put the backrest on a shelf until I needed it. But all in all, for me, this does a pretty good job. It's a uh, you know, in the in the backrest area, I do have a system that I use when I when I go on longer runs with the bike. But yeah, that's the seat. I highly recommend it. Again, a seat is very personal. It's something that you know, the same guy with my same injuries, my same size, could on the seat and absolutely hate it. But um, from day one, this seat did a wonderful job for me. Eight ten thousand miles in, it's still kicking ass, and uh, it looks good. So in my Northern Michigan redneck engineering ways, my solution for the backrest um, issue was I run a, a Harley Davidson day pack when I go on trips. Um, usually I just put my clothes in there, you know, a pair of pants, a couple pair of drawers, things like that. And uh, I'll put that on the back of the seat. If I'm going for like a long ride, say I'm heading up north just for the day, I'll stuff a beach towel or a blanket in there just to give me that padding and put it on the uh, on the passenger seat. My wife doesn't ride with me, so um, that stays on there quite a bit. But uh, it works out for me. It's not ideal, but, you know, I'm not going for looks <laughs> too much on this bike. I do want my bike to look good, obviously, but it works for me on the comfort level. Um, if I were to go back and do something different again, I would probably stick with saddling just because of how the seat performed for me. Um, the gel is, is amazing. There is... I did a lot of videos, like hundreds of videos I watched, and everyone's talking about, you know, it's 500 to 1,000 miles on the break-in period. For me, there was zero break-in period. It was um, from day one, put the seat on, go 1,000 times better than what I had. Um, the seat has gotten better over time. Like I said, it's been nine months or so of me having the seat, eight to 10,000 miles. Um, I'm pretty sure it's as broken as it's going to get right now. Um, but uh, it, it's perfect. I can hop on this bike today and, and go until I need gas. So whereas before I was stopping every hour at first, and then after that, it would be, you know, every half hour, 45 minutes as the pain just got worse and worse and worse for me. Um, 
again, though, you know, it's all up to you and what your personal preference is. For me, it worked out great. By no means is uh, am I telling everybody to rush out and buy a saddle and robe sofa. You know, do your research, take a look at it. But for me, this is my honest review. I love the seat. I will stick with Saddleman most likely throughout the rest of my riding days. Um, I might go with the uh, other, the two-up design on my next on my next bike. See how that is. That has like an eight-inch, you know, built-in backrest type thing, and they do have a, a spot on there for a little bit of a backrest. But I did hear on the extended breech that little pad they have sets you forward again, so you're kind of taking away your extended reach with that. And that was kind of my thought process too behind not getting a backrest because I heard that they do kind of push you up a little bit further. And, um, you know, point of the extended reach is for my six foot four frame to be comfortable on the bike. And I like being kind of stretched out a little bit and going. So, um, so that's it, man. It's a great seat, $578. I got it off of uh, Dennis Kurt. It came, whew, it came within four to five days. So it was, it was pretty quick. And, uh, I haven't looked back, man. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy the seat. I love it. I will sing Saddleman praises for the rest of my riding career, for sure. It's because it did help me extend my riding experience. So um, to me, that's important. So take what you will from it. I do appreciate it. Um, do that thing we're supposed to say where you subscribe, you like, thumbs up, whatever. Whatever. And uh, yeah, so take care of that. I do like it. I do appreciate you guys. We'll see you later. Bye.